Check it, check, 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 mic, check, mic, check. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, troops, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to the channel, Mark. That's me, my words, where we follow trading, traveling, and training. As ever, before I do get into this very quick video, please continue to hit that subscribe button down there. Just a few more subscribers away from 800, the next target for the channel. Please spread the word, join the movement, and become one of the troops. So here we are, Tuesday, the 1st of June, 2021, after Memorial Day weekend. Uh, American markets closed yesterday, European markets open. Uh, before I get into that, I want to do a quick recap on what happened last week. But before I do, troops, I think I would like to also say that the next two trading weeks could change our lives forever. I believe that. I'm expecting some serious movement over the next two weeks. There's some catalysts coming up, which we will talk about shortly. So looking at the five-day chart um, for GME, you can see we started the week and we hit a low of 173.35 before topping out on Friday with a high of 268.80, settling at the end of the day at 222. Not as bad as it sounds, troops, because if you run the Fibonacci's, from the start of the run-up at the beginning of the week to the peak on Friday, you can see that we've had a healthy uh, retracement back down to that 50% uh, line, okay? And we kind of held that in after hours. So all in all, not too bad indeed. I would say sitting very pretty. Um, going forward for this week, again, it's ha it has been um, uh, a holiday weekend in America, so I do expect some pent-up uh, buy-in to take place uh, and all I will say is buy, hold, vote. Catalyst coming up for GME. Uh, so next week is um, earnings. A week today is their Q2 earnings report. Expect that to come out uh, and then the following day obviously is the much anticipated shareholder meeting. Just buy, hold and vote troops. Buy, hold and vote. Your vote is important if we're going to uncover the um, the shenanigans that go on behind the scenes that have really ground these stocks down. You need to vote. It's so important. If you can, vote. If you can't, get onto your broker. Start messaging them. Giving them, you know, Twitter, private messages, emails, whatever. Get onto them. Try and, try and change the narrative. We've seen it with some brokers. Uh, they have changed tack. They know what, uh, what, in, what interest there is in these two stocks uh, and they are taking note they don't want to go the way of robin hood so some of them really are working for their customers uh, over to amc then again a look at the five day you can see a very very similar pattern starting with a low of the day a low of the week at 1208 before thursday and friday we really got into this uh, run up here um, up to a high of 36.72 on Friday, closing at 26.12. But again, if you run the Fibonacci's uh, from the low up to the high, you can see that we've had a pullback to around 50%. So again, all in all, very healthy, and we've sustained that um, into the aftermarket on Friday. Yesterday, uh, German markets were open, Mexican markets were open. I've seen both tickers finishing... Uh, Sorry, AMC certainly finishing over $30. I think GME finishing just round about where, where we closed, maybe a little bit above on, um, on Friday. So again, another catalyst for uh, AMC is that tomorrow is the uh, record date for the um, uh, vote, voting. So again, if, you're not, if you haven't voted yet, please do start to vote. Uh, buy, hold and vote on both of these tickers. It's really, really important. So uh, again, guys, the next two weeks, I think, are going to be instrumental in where we go from here. OK, do your bit. Buy, hold, vote. Buy, hold, vote. Buy, hold and vote. And that, troops, is all I've got for you this morning. I do wish everybody a very successful and green trading week. Let's hope we can keep some of this momentum going. Uh, I'm certainly excited and looking forward to it to see what happens. Uh, and I'll see you all on the other side. Cheers, troops.